Okay, so you remember when you were a little kid and you went around to grandma's and grandma used to bring out these little dram, jam drop cookies? Wow, they were awesome. A little cookie like that and they had this dram, jam drop on the top of it and used to smash them down, they were all homemade. Well, I come up with the idea and what I'm gonna cook for you guys is I'm gonna show you how to cook a jam drop damper. How's that sound? Basically, it's like a big giant cookie with a jam drop in the middle. So jam drop damper, it's quick, easy, simple. Let's get it cracking. All right, so first thing we're gonna need is, now, here's the problem. Uh, after all the packing that I did, I didn't pack my favorite mixing bowl. So I'm gonna have to use this saucepan as my mixing bowl, okay? So I'm improvising a little bit here. So first of all, if you're gonna make, if you're gonna make this setup, you're gonna need some flour, okay? Because it's a damper, basically, you got to start with the damper mix. So we get a bit of flour like that, about that much. Let's get a bit of this butter going. Just chuck a big dollop in. So we're going to put a bit of sugar in. So I just got some brown sugar here I found in the cupboard. Oop, that'll do. Bit of vanilla essence, okay? Vanilla essence, about that much. Bit of coconut. Gotta love the coconut. Yeah, about that much. That'll do. And of course, the last ingredient is some milk. Oh, hang on, don't forget the eggs. Here we go, two eggs, bit of milk. There we go. Give that a bit of a mix up while we're waiting. All right, so, bit of milk. Whack her in. Now we don't want it too sloppy. So, I'm gonna use that. So obviously to gauge it, once I sort of get the milk in there and stuff like that. Yeah, she's starting to mix up now. That's what we want. So we want to make sure that butter goes right through, so you give it a good mix up. All right, so you can see that's quite runny. All right, see that? Well, you we don't want it too runny, because we've got to try and manipulate it and shape it a little bit. So, we'll put a bit more self-raising flour in. There we go. About that much. Bit of milk in. I think that's the key to this sort of stuff. You know, a bit of this, bit of that, and you can sort of add more or less as you sort of make up and you work out what sort of consistency and what sort of size you want, so. All right, so that's a good consistency. I've greased the tin so it doesn't stick. So what do we want? Well, we'll just lob that sucker in there. So it's like, imagine a big cookie. Now the reason why I'm putting it in the tin is because I get more control over it in the camp oven, all right, and I can, I can put it on top of my trivet and it doesn't sort of sift, well, doesn't sort of mold through the holes in the trivet and get stuck. <laughs> so it's sort of like, you know, just an extra little pan there, I suppose. So I'm gonna get a little bit of flour on me because I'm gonna need to manipulate it a little bit. So a little bit of flour. There we go. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna make it like a big cookie. So here we go. Now what you want to do is, if you're going to make a jam drop cookie, you got to, well, normally when you make the cookie, you get your thumb and you just push a little hole in the, in the middle. Well, this is like a big cookie, so my thumb's not going to work, so you can probably stick your whole hand in there if you want. All right, there's our little damper, our jam dropper, all right, with a hole in the middle for big chunks of delicious blackberry jam. Now, you can normally put strawberry jam in here, but I haven't got any strawberry jam, so I'm going to stick huge amounts of this stuff in there. All right, look at this stuff. Sugary, uh, golden, blackberry goodness going in the top. Might just sort of flick that around the edges a bit, sort of, you know, lube it up a bit, make it look good. All right, make it look like a big cookie. Now, doesn't that, doesn't that look awesome? Looks like a big, big cookie. Look at the size of that thing. So basically what that's gonna do is it's just gonna go, it's gonna swell in that tin. Okay, in my camp oven, and we'll shove that there, like that. We're gonna take that over and go and stick her on the fire. All right, so about 30, 40 minutes, maybe even 45, but check it. Check it after 10, check it after 20. Keep an eye on it. You may need to rotate it. Bit of heat coming off that 
fire as well, residual heat. But this camp oven will cook it fairly quickly because it is a spun steel camp oven, which means it's far better at cooking what's in there. So hopefully it won't take too long at all. Alrighty, so we'll have a check, see how she's going. Oh yeah, ooh, that's a little hot damper cook. We'll get rid of that, we don't need that anymore. All right, let's grab her out. I'm just gonna grab her out. Oh, look at that, she's ready to go. We'll take her over there and we'll cut her into bits. There we go, mate, I've got her ready. Check that out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. What does that, that remind you of? good too. Yeah. Does that remind you of your big jam drop cookies? Got a cup of tea with that? In the old days? Hell yeah. You said you're having damper on, mate. Damper and tea. Sounds like a plan. All right, well, get, we'll get Jesse in. Come on in, Jesse. Jesse, yeah, you got your cup of tea, mate? How's my cup of tea? Oh, look at that. Good to go, mate. That's awesome. Go. Okay. That looks all right. Check her out, mate. All right, well, um, we'll give Jesse a <coughs> burl on this one. Let's, I'll tell you what, the flies yeah, are friendly around here. Yeah, did you swallow a fly? Not quite. They're very friendly, Zoe. Look at that. So you like extra jam on yours, mate? Sure do. All right, there we go. Grab that bit. Here's yours, Simon. I think you got a bigger bit than me. The end fell off of mine, the jam bit. There you go. <sighs> yeah, what's it taste like? Oh, mate. You good? You've really? outdone yourself. Oh. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. That's cold. Cheers, boys, eh? Nice work, mate. Here we go. Jam drop cookie damper. I don't know whether anyone's done that before, but... You better do it again. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, that's going to keep the fire fire. Oh, that's warm. I hope you like that recipe because there's many more in my new bush cookbook about that much.